This is Berks County, where heroin drug deaths continue to rise at a distressingly high level. Essentially, in the last 10 years in particular, there's been much more research, much more effective research when it comes to prevention programs that work and treatment programs that work. And by having a more balanced approach to the drug problem, we actually have the potential to be much more successful. Successful? According to Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the National Institute of Drug Abuse, Drug abuse deaths now exceed car fatalities. Is that successful? Currently in Berks County and pretty much throughout the country, there's a scourge uh, occurring where people are abused and, and overdosing on heroin. Uh, I think the biggest thing that the government could do better is uh, education and prevention. Uh, once they, once uh, uh, an individual becomes addicted to heroin, it's a very difficult uh, road ahead of them to overcome that addiction and become a productive citizen. Clearly, our, the, the heroin epidemic that we are seeing, and we're, we're seeing, uh, it's kind of like the economy uh, works, supply and demand. Um, and right now, um, the supply of heroin into our country uh, has increased immensely. And we know where heroin is coming from. It's coming generally from Mexico and the Mexican cartels by admitting that reducing our own demand is just as important as uh, protecting our borders, cutting off supply, doing interdiction. So why should we care about heroin? What makes it different from other drugs? Heroin addiction and heroin use is, has a huge negative impact on society. Um, the, the drug itself um, is so addictive that uh, once it's used by a, an individual, they, they easily become addicted to it. And once that addiction takes place, that individual is going to seek out that drug and that individual will do all types of things that they normally would not do in order to obtain that, the heroin. People who are heroin users uh, are a drain to our economy. Um, we are spending, uh, not only are we spending a lot of money on their health care, uh, drug treatment, uh, hospitalizations, uh, they are not productive citizens, and also um, generally what we all know is that when one becomes addicted to heroin, uh, they're committing crimes to support their addiction. It's a very expensive endeavor uh, to treat someone that has a, uh, an addiction to heroin. From the drugs uh, like methadone that are, are given to individuals that, uh, to overcome their heroin addiction, all the way to the treatment centers that sometimes last months. I had a, a friend in high school who on the surface was you know, an A-plus student, one of the smartest people I've known. You know, he's friendly, kind, really funny. Um, and he was an awesome athlete. I mean, we played... Uh, so many years of lacrosse together and I was a goalie, he was a defenseman, and, you know, he looked after me and he was three years older than me and he was really a role model. I mean, he protected me, you know, kept me in line and everything. And, you know, we had a really close relationship and, you know, when we lost him, when he passed away, it, it was just shocking because, you know, I knew a lot of his friends knew that he struggled with drug problems and has had a heroin addiction. I think kids, by the time they're using heroin, are getting have gotten pretty good about hiding their addiction. You know, it it just hurts to know that maybe for all the times that he looked after me on the lacrosse field and you know as a friend, maybe I should have done more to look after him and tried to help him with his problems because now that he's gone. I'll always look at that and think that maybe there's something I could have done. And it hurts, and I think about it a lot. You know, whenever he comes into my mind, I always wish there was something I could have done. And now, you know, as I grow older, I just think about that with anybody who has any kind of problems. You know, since I missed that opportunity once and I lost a dear friend because of it, I think even if it's a minor problem, 
you know, I should be there for them. I should reach out to them because the smallest thing can make a difference. And if I would have done that with my friend, maybe he'd still be here. So what's the final step? How do we fix this? Our federal government needs to step it up and do more to combat uh, the Mexican cartels from flooding our country with heroin. Uh, we need to do more than just uh, put a border, uh, you know, a, uh, a wall up on our border, though. Uh, we need to put some pressure on Mexico economically that uh, they need to clean up what's going on there. So how many more people need to die before the federal government realizes that there is a heroin epidemic right in our own backyard?